Hello, my friends. It's me. And it's time for a story. Something from our friend Gantt Chart. And I'm going to be honest with you, the, um, <laughs> the title alone makes me uh, just uh, a hair uneasy, but also very excited. So let's find out. This is Brutus Ain't No Couillon, a Cajun redub. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. So here we go. Hello, Moon Horse. Hello, Sango, and the rest of the Moon Cult. That's you guys. So it's been a while since I last wrote a story, and I've been looking for ideas for creative writing. After being recommended a video on our Discord server by a certain Cajun space horse, yeah, I know exactly which one you're talking about, and that guy's amazing, I've been introduced to Cajun dubs, which are hilarious. They really are. What he does is redub scenes from movies in Cajun slang, and I wanted to give it a try. Then I thought, why not do a scene from one of William Shakespeare's famous plays in, in Cajun speak? <laughs> oh boy. Hence, I created a Cajun redub of Mark Anthony's famous Friends, Romans, Countrymen speech from Caesar. Now, I want to be clear, I'm a Wisconsinite. As we know, the difference between Wisconsin and Louisiana is night and day. This is true. I've only been to Louisiana once, and it was so my mom could get a souvenir state bell for her collection. So I may not get it perfect. I did spend some time studying Cajun slang, but as far as I'm concerned, the story could go one of two ways. You obtain an authentic Cajun experience, or this is hilariously inaccurate. Either way, it'll make you laugh. Either way, it should be entertaining. That's true. Yes. So, uh, here we go. Uh, let's set the scene. Spoiler alert, Caesar's dead. Uh, he was stabbed to death by senators such as Cassius and Brutus. We are currently at his funeral. Mark Anthony is given permission by Brutus to give a speech at the funeral, provided he doesn't say anything bad about the conspirators. Here's the following speech he gives. Redubbed in Cajun slang. And I will try my best to, to get it right to help you with some of this, because I know some of it. My friends... My partners, he says homeboys, but partners is actually a more correct one. A bear from next door. Y'all listen up. I ain't here to praise Caesar, though. No. Only bury him. The evil that men done did before death festers like talons. I'm sorry, that would be festers like talons. By the charity they had, done die with him. So let it be with Caesar. My partner Brutus done told you that Caesar was plotting some shit, yeah. And if he was, it because he was... <laughs> he is pasare. <laughs> I like this so far. Brutus said it was all good for me to speak the truth, yeah. Cause Brutus ain't no couillon. Nah, man. Neither he nor his homeboys, they ain't no couillon. So they gave me to go ahead to tell you all this. Caesar wasn't no partner. He was nothing but bad to me. But Brutus, shoo, he said them plotting them shit. And Brutus ain't no couillon. Caesar turned with the many captives, who the ransom he done get the biggest payoff ever the Rome done had, you know. <laughs> Why was Caesar plotting? When the poor got the ennui, didn't Caesar offer each one of them a bowl of gumbo? But what's Caesar in game though? Money? Power? <laughs> oh, Papa's make a light pot! <laughs> I added that part. <laughs> yeah, Brutus said he was plotting some shit, yeah. And Brutus ain't no couillon. Y'all saw the last fate though though I offered Caesar up this cap, say sexy king on it, tree time. And tree time he's like, nah bruh. What's well, Caesar in game? Your yeah, Brutus say you plotting some shit. And show, he ain't no couillon. I ain't here to throw shade on what Brutus told you no. Only tell you what I do know yeah. He called this man your partner once. And not for no reason. Had judgment been stolen by them brutish beasts? Then I guess we the real couillon this whole time. Forgive me. Some swamp which teleported my heart to next season's cadaver. I must wait for the gree gree to wear off. <laughs> this is... Oh, I've never done this for so long. <laughs> Man, y'all remember when Caesar word will plow through the enemies like my Ford F-150? Man, come on now. You gotta be driving a Ford. <laughs> now his body like that ain't even the taons would spit on his corpse shoe. Homeboys of Rome, if I was rile y'all up, y'all be totally like Fayol to Bruce and Cassius, who's most certainly ain't no couillon. I ain't gonna talk smack about them, no, 
I'd rather talk smack about you, myself, and your dead loved one in them. Talk smack about these non cool y'alls. I did, however, find this here sheet paper in Caesar's closet, right next to his booze cabinet. It was empty when I got there. Out of that part. <laughs> it's his will, yeah. But I ain't read it loud, no. Y'all wouldn't be able to handle that and make y'all do crazy shit. Like name a pizza joint after it. <laughs> well played. <laughs> uh, they keep asking for him to read it. Man, calm down and shit. I ain't gonna read that. Y'all ain't prepared for what this paper say. You found out what's on it, you become all fauché. What would happen then? Uh, the crowd begs Mark to read the will, the anticipation killing them. Man, calm your ass down. I'm afraid I've been Mr. Loose Lips tell you about this will. I wronged these non cool young done stab Caesar during the last meetup. Random Robins began calling Brutus and Cassie as traitors, assholes, and of course, Couillon. <laughs> so y'all want me to read this? Aight, come see, come sa. Make a ring around here. <laughs> All up in the front now, come on. A ring of people is formed around Caesar's body with Mark Anthony holding a part of Caesar's toga. If y'all got them tears, get them ready to shed, yeah. Y'all know this toga. Man, I remember this toga. I remember the first time Caesar put it on, yeah. It was when he put up in the Norton of Battlefield, showing them bastard in the very what it fo. Look at this stab wound, right? Right in the face. That was Cassius. That big stab mark on his shoulder, that was Casca. But that one near the heart, my yeah, that was Brutus. Caesar could fight off a whole horde of couillons and talons. But when a homeboy like Brutus done sap him, not even a heart as strong as Caesar could handle that bitch behavior <laughs> like that. I like this. It can break a man, shoe. It break his soul. From there, Caesar fell to a statue of Pompeii. Cake and blood as Caesar used his toga to hide his face. Then he fell. I fell. And all y'all fell as treason spread over this land, shoe. So now y'all start to weep? I feel y'all starting to feel pity for him. Come on, y'all. Why y'all crying? For when Caesar see you him there, look there. Look at all these stab wounds all over him. My boy looking like a Swiss cheese. All them traitorous wounds, shoo. Now y'all calm down. Don't get fashed. Don't be starting a riot or nothing. Brutus and his gang ain't cool, y'all remember? And they done stabbed the homeboy like that. But I wasn't sure they was jealous or nothing. They explain everything. I'm sure you that. Ain't trying to sway you nothing. My speech giving abilities, y'all casse. Not like Brutus. You know me and Caesar, good buddy. We can't even speak work damn. I only tell like it is. I only have Brutus' skills of persuasion, shoot. I convince even all this co <laughs> I can convince even all the coquetry down the bayou to rise up and mutiny. <laughs> Give me fucking weird flashbacks here, dude. <laughs> My way, partner, listen. You should be acting like no cool y'all. Y'all boys are proud for a reason. Action should be punished by some old papa in the robe, shoe. Y'all should pursue action with a reason. Y'all should know how much Caesar love y'all. Y'all don't forget that, no. To each one Roman, each one of my partners, I give 75 drachmas. But wait, there's mo. Y'all can use my orchards, backyards, and the fields for the barbecue, man, fado do, stuff like that. Man, you get your own make a light pot out, you make the big old crawfish, you know what I'm saying? That land public property from now till forever. I want my partners and them to enjoy this land. That was Caesar. When we gonna have another one. And the crowd goes nuts. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of weird shit we come up with whenever I'm hanging out with some of my friends and just, like, drinking and stuff. We come up with really stupid Cajun doves of really popular things. Uh, we wanted to redo the entire plot of uh, Kingdom Hearts, but all for Cajun. Uh, they're not fighting the Heartless. They're, they're after Ansem because he's, he done stole little Papa's good-ass make a light pot. And, my, you can't be doing that. Shoot, come on. And <laughs> so, that that was fun. Thank you, Gantt Chart. That actually was really weird and fun, and I enjoyed that. Uh, as for accuracy, you got real close. A lot of it is there. Uh, a lot of it was actually pretty good. Um, I don't know a lot of people who say homeboy as much, but I definitely heard my padna. Um, and if you're talking about like a place over where your family is, you say stuff like, oh, by your mom and him. Uh, so yeah, this was actually really good and is not bad for somebody who's only heard this stuff secondhand. So I, I applaud you personally. I think you did a good job. So, uh, 
that that was fun and uh thank you for watching this very strange uh little video if you enjoyed this do the you know youtube thing like comment subscribe all that good crap uh, mainly because YouTube doesn't like it when small creators uh, have any measure of success. So, um, uh, fuck it. Do it anyway. Just just really to piss them off. Just for the pure art of anarchy, if anything. Um, if you'd like to contribute to this channel, I have a subreddit. I forgot the word subreddit. Where you can send stories. r slash moonhorse stories. That's mine. I also have a Ko-Fi, which is like Patreon, but like way cooler. And I have a merch store, my little Threadless store, where you can buy all sorts of weird things. Except for hats, for some reason, Threadless. Why are we still not doing that? Sorry, that was just directed at them. I, it's not about you. You should still go check it out. They do have some really cool stuff. But not hats. Don't know why. Anyway, um, every weekend we do streams. This video is being streamed while I'm recording it, so you can come check that out. It's on Twitch. Uh, Twitch. What is my Twitch address? <laughs> it's. Uh, d Editor Moonhorse will put it here. He's not going to put it there. It's going to be a blank spot. Yeah. Either way, you should check it out. It's uh, it's there. And the links to all of it are in like every description of all my videos. Um, most of them. Unless they're really old. But, you know. Either way, check that out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay. I'm terrible at outros. But okay, bye. <laughs>